Just how similar is the Traxxas XRT to the X-Max? What upgrades from the X-Max are going to fit the XRT? In this video, we're gonna find out. Now, I just spent the last couple hours staring at the parts lists and exploded views for the two different trucks, and I feel like I've got a really good idea of what parts are going to fit and what parts aren't going to fit. First of all, the entire Wide Max kit for the X-Max is directly transplanted onto the XRT. That's probably why they made the Wide Max kit. They were already making it for the XRT, so it cost them nothing to make it for the X-Max. This means that arms, drive shafts, stub shafts, hex adapters, wheel nuts, hinge pins, and even basically any wheel and tire upgrade that fits the X-Max should fit the XRT. That means that the upgraded Vitavon drive shafts are going to fit, upgraded WFO drive shafts are going to fit. If you want to go aluminum, you'll have aluminum arm options. Steering toe links should fit. Now the major exception to that is going to be the hubs, knuckles, and bearing carriers. These look almost identical, but they do have different part numbers, so they are going to be slightly different. We'll just have to see if the current upgrades are going to be compatible or not. The shocks are the same type of shock, but they're not exactly the same. The X-Max shock bodies, as you would expect, are longer, as are the shock shafts. Shock caps are the same, the lower shock eyes are the same, the spring perch adjusters are the same. Of course, the springs are different, so upgraded shock caps from Hot Racing, upgraded preload adjusters from Hot Racing, those should all fit, but your Proline shock lower assemblies aren't gonna fit because they're gonna be too long. Basically, anything having to do with the chassis itself, the body, the roll cage, front and rear bumpers, none of that is compatible. That's all unique to the XRT, so no upgrades are going to work for that. There are a few exceptions to this. The Nerf bars are the same, so you can put your aluminum Nerf bars from the X-Max on there if that's your thing. Moving inward, something I know everybody's gonna wanna upgrade very quickly is gonna be that servo. The servo itself is the same. The servo adapter is the same. So any of your standard size servos should fit without any issue. However, I don't think any of the upgraded servo savers for the X-Max are gonna fit the XRT, so we're gonna have to wait for new ones to come out for that. Speaking of which, as soon as bespoke upgrades are available for the XRT, you're gonna be hearing about it on this channel, so make sure you get subscribed. Everything in the drive line appears to be the same. This even includes the center drive shaft. Not sure if that means that the M2C center drive shaft upgrade is going to work. The length is the same, but I'm not sure that center mounting is going to be exactly the same. So we're going to have to put that one in the maybe column. Speaking of maybes, most of the bearings are going to be the same. So your bearing kits should mostly fit, but there may be a few differences in there. ESC mounts may or may not fit. Some of the 3D printed mounts that just adapt should work, but things like the RPM mount for the MMX 8S aren't going to work. However, the front, center, and rear differentials are all identical. The differential covers are are identical. So your aluminum diff covers are going to work. Your aluminum diff housings are going to work. Your upgraded gears are going to work. Upgraded cush drives should work. All your mod 1.5 gears from MMM, WFO, Saga, all that should work. Not entirely certain about belt drives because they're pretty wide and there might be a reduced space in there. One interesting thing I noted when I was looking this up is Traxxas has a new part number listed for a drive cup upgrade 7754R. This is not something that we've seen before. It's not listed yet, but it looks like they are going to be offering an upgrade. The stock drive cups are the ones off the X-Max. They're not upgraded, but it looks like one will be available. Moving on to the power system. The motor and motor mount are the same. So any motor mount that mounts using those stock mounting locations should work just fine. Obviously ones that have an integrated chassis brace, like the M2C one, the chassis brace itself is not going to work because there simply isn't a chassis brace on the XTR, but the motor mount itself should still fit. Speaking of motor mounts, this is an interesting one. On the X-Max, the ESC has a lot of different places it can go on the XRT. It's sitting right in front of the motor and from what I could see, there really aren't a lot of places to relocate it. So I think there's gonna have to be some creative solutions made in order to make much longer motors fit this truck. All right, guys, I think that pretty much covers all the major upgrades. Let me know what you think down in the comments. What did I miss? What did I get wrong? Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.